That's another reason is the guy in charge, Rocco Baldelli. As a player, reached the World Series in 2008 with the Rays. Now he's in the postseason in his first season as a manager in the big leagues. Let's go back to Detroit where he's with Audra. Rocco, congratulations. You and your team are division champs. How good does that hear to sound to hear? You know, it's um, it, it, it's a beautiful night for everybody here. And when you when you spend this much time um, working towards a goal, and you try to do it as best you can every day, and you try to do it the right way, and you watch all the people around you doing it the right way, it uh, it feels great. You know, it feels great. It, there aren't many moments where you get to sit back and at least for a night. Um, look at what you've accomplished and appreciate it and say thanks to people. This is one of those nights and you know we're gonna we're gonna spend the time to enjoy it um, while we can and and we'll be back at it again uh, tomorrow but um, there are certainly times like I said to, to say you know like I said thanks for everyone thanks to everybody and you know have a great time. This is one of those really special nights and we're here. But what an incredible first year for you. I mean you're the youngest manager in the league. You have a team that's made up of a lot of new guys who really you guys needed to have bounce back seasons and they have. How special has this group been as far as the cohesiveness and picking each other up no matter if they're a veteran young guy, they're a twin before or they're new. Yeah, when we when you know, when we when it finally happened, we're watching the TV and when it happened, I mean the first thing I'm thinking of is this is this is a, a real team. This is a group that you know picks each other up every single day. We figure out a way to win. You know, you don't look to one guy, two guys, you look to the entire group and somebody figures out a way to get something done to win the game. Um, that's how you win. I mean, that's how you figure out a long season and, and, and make it work. And we have the group to do it. We have guys that support each other every single day when we show up to the ballpark. And, you know, it's, it's an amazing group to work with. You guys started in such a hot way. I mean, you guys were on fire and then you did have some adversity. Things cooled off a little bit there and you guys had some injuries that you had to deal with, some adversity. And these guys never gave up and they fought through all of it. So when you look at what they were able to achieve, how much enjoyment do you get out of just watching them being able to celebrate their accomplishments? Yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's, it's about, you know, taking part in it and then taking a step back and watching everybody achieve their their goals and their and their dreams and the things that they want to accomplish um, that's a huge part of what we do you know we, we, we want to achieve team goals and we want to um, allow our guys to become the players and people that they want to be and that's 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 why we show up every day you have a very supportive staff surrounding you as well a couple guys who have been with the organization before some new guys the group dynamic between the, all of you is very special how much have you been able to rely on them here in your rookie season yeah we, we rely on each other in everything that we do that's that's the way we operate um, and I, I hope it never changes it's uh, it's a great way to show up every day it's you know you leave with a great feeling every night whether you win or lose you know you're supported by the people around you and that's that's really all you can ask for in baseball and and beyond baseball this is just the first step there's a lot more baseball that can be played. What are you most looking forward to seeing from your team in October? Well, I'm, I'm, I look forward to tomorrow. With this group, honestly, I just look forward to showing up, you know, the following day and, and just getting ready to, to, you know, play the game, enjoy the day. And then, you know, we have fun. Every single day we show up together, we have a great time. And uh, it's going to be fun. October will be fun. Is this about the best birthday you've had in a while? Yeah, I was thinking it's probably the best birthday I've ever, I've ever had. I would say now that it, it's, it's definitely the best birthday I've had. Well, happy birthday, congratulations, and go enjoy the rest of the celebration with your guys. Thank you, Audrey. 98 wins for Rocco Baldelli in his first season as manager in a Central Division Championship, a team that has really dominated the division basically from the start, took over first place in mid-May, They've been in first place every day but one since 171 of the 186 days of the season they will have spent on top of the Central Division. We know that they will be in the playoffs. We know that they will open on the road next Friday, likely at New York. And we also know that we will have coverage for you here on Fox Sports North before and after every postseason game that the Twins play. They'll open with two on the road, then they'll come to Target Field. You heard Derek Falvey and Thad Levine talk about it earlier when they said one of our goals was to bring a home playoff game to the Twins fans at Target Field this year. They know at the very least there will be one game there. It, it, you listen to Rocco Baldelli talk about this, and you can see why the players love him so much. He just truly seems to enjoy being around this team on a daily basis.